Hey everybody, it's John back again, and I'm really happy to have finally been able to get this re-release from NECA of the Spider Gremlin. I missed out on it originally when it first came out, and they have them up on their eBay shop right now, so you can get it for its regular price instead of the like $180 to $200 that it trends on second-hand sellers. So as you can see from the box here, you got a nice photo image of what's inside. It's a spider gremlin and uh, NECA, real toys, and man, I can't wait to open this thing up. I'm probably just going to do it straight from here and not cut away. And he looks like he's going to be fantastic. And there's the back of the box. The most massive, most incredible gremlins figure ever produced. When fully assembled, the spider gremlin stands over... 10 inches tall and is nearly 15 inches wide, featuring a hinged jaw, ball jointed shoulders, elbows, and wrists, and in eight massive spider legs that are also articulated. Equaling over 30 points of articulation includes spider serum bottle and display stand. Well, that's nice to hear. So, let's see. This is rather big in the space. And my light is very bright right now. Sorry about that. It is super reflective on this box. Don't know which one's the side light. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I see the serum coming out the corner there. Pull the plastic get out. Get the box out of the way. Put this crazy looking thing in the frame here. Okay, I see the piece of the stands, there's his legs, there's the spider serum, but that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully you've all seen Gremlins 2. It's uh, a very silly, goofy um, spoof on the original of, of itself. Wow, look at this thing. Sounds pretty fragile in the back. Pretty more solid in the front. Looks like... Yep, that's his articulated jaw. Anyway! Now fiddling, let's see what we got. We'll take the legs out. And the front little legs here. We got our... Ooh. It says you should warm the legs up. Hmm. I may have to cut away after all. And get a nice cup of hot water. Stand. Pull out the serum. Sorry about the plastic noises. Let's see what we got back here. It's got one tie. Well, since I'm going to have to cut away to go get some warm water to put this guy together, let's just do that now so you guys don't have to listen to the plastic. So I'll be uh, right back. Okay, here he is outside of his packaging now without um, his legs. And. Let's see here. I'm gonna bring him a little bit closer. And man, he's got some crazy detail. Without his legs on, he looks like some kind of undersea critter. Um, see the spikes there on his belly. He's got a hole for the stand. And pretty cool paint details on his little bug spider web thing here. Um, yep, yeah, cool paint job. Crazy amount of detail. It's got little red fins. He's pretty impressive. And then there's that pretty cool looking face. Let's see if we get a little bit more light on him. Yeah, and this jaw is articulated. That's a pretty good look. The creepy, highly detailed spider gremlin. So let's see what we got. Okay, so use some really good tape. Here we have his base, which is just a little black piece of plastic and a tube. Well, not quite a tube, it's a shaft. 
And it just probably plugs in, and then I guess he just balances on that. Whoa, he's very... Well, probably with his legs it would be a little bit more helpful. Let's get my lights back in here. So we'll use the base a little bit later. Here's the pretty neat little spider flammable spider serum he drinks to get turned into this guy. Got these two legs. These guys. And hopefully they just can plug into whatever spot they go. So we'll give it a try. I got my cup of warm water here. Let's go ahead. Let's see. If we Warm up one leg. It doesn't look like it matters which way these guys go. So we'll do one and then I'll probably take a little cut because I doubt you all want to watch me warm up some uh, spider gremlin legs to get these ball joints into. Even though it might be a fun experiment seeing if I can get this to work or not. So there is one warmed up, hopefully wet, leg. And let's see. Maybe. Oh, it's starting to go in there. They do plug in pretty good. It's just gonna take a few minutes, and uh, <laughs> I'm running out of room in here to even look at this thing. He's so huge. Um, I'll be back. Uh, wait, you won't notice, but you know, hold on. I'm back. He has all his legs on. That was. It took a little bit of doing, but they go on pretty good. Once they snap in, they're snug. I did realize though, while checking them out, I have a defect, which is a bummer. Um, I sent them a couple messages. We'll see if they respond. More than likely, it'll just be, have to be something I deal with because I don't think they had a whole lot of these things in stock. I'll have to check and see if they're sold out or not. But we'll go over um, his articulation real quick just to see what we got. Um, each leg has a ball joint here and it can move up and down pretty well. And then there's another one here. It gives him another range of movement. And then the one you got to put in is the same, goes up and down and around. So you got some really good movement in the legs, and each one of the legs do the same. And then in the back here, you have some movement as well. It can rotate and lift up and down, so that's pretty cool. He has some torso movement. That mine is really tight. He should be able to look up more. But I don't know if mine's going to go. Might have to work on that a little bit. And then he has his shoulders, which you can't really see. <clears throat> his shoulders are on a hinge, so they can get some side to side. And they get the up and around movement. He does have a single joint in his elbow, and as well as a rotation there, which is pretty nice. And he rotates at the wrist and has a very tight hinge right there in his arms. There you can see my defect. See that big open gap in his head. There should be these spikes like on this side. Oh, it's so hard to move this guy. He's holding onto the table. But there's the spikes. 
right there. That should be in his face on this side, <laughs> which has a big gap. Right there. So that's a little bit of a bummer. So I guess when I display him on my shelf, if I turn his head a little bit, it won't be that noticeable. But maybe they'll have a spare piece they can maybe send. And then his front legs have articulation at the base there. And then also at the point where you plug in the other piece is on a ball. And then he has some neck movement. You can go around and up and down. And it is also, it's like jointed at the neck and at the head, so he can get a lot of good swivel. Nothing at the ears. Um, his fins are pretty flexible, and on mine, not really all that well attached. And then he does have his articulated jaw. Mine's off center just a little bit, but you can't really notice too bad. And he does have a cool little tongue in there. So overall, it's amazing, the detail in this thing. He's fantastic looking. It's just a bummer that I end up getting one that's missing his spikes on his head. Uh, he sits on a stand pretty well, and he is massive. I mean, look at this thing. And it takes up my entire space. And he doesn't sit on his base very well until... Well, I guess he kind of does. He teeters a little bit. So he's going to probably go on one of my shelves. Looking in the other direction, probably put him up with my Godzilla's that I have sitting out here. Um, because he's a pretty cool piece to display. Um, like I said, you can get them from their eBay shop, which while I'm talking here, you might still have some. Let me see. I don't want to have to return it because, man, that... Um, I gotta put it together, and he'd have to, I don't know, go into a big old box. Yep, they still have them right now. Um, anyway, he's pretty cool, other than that piece, which is a big bummer. And, ugh, he's massive and crazy to move. Well, let me know if you guys got this thing. Um, this is the re-release one, and if you did, if you have any errors or defects, and if you don't enjoy it, because he's fantastic, I'm going to have to try to work on the joint here, because it just doesn't want to really move a whole lot, and it looks like he should be able to go back. I don't want to put too much force on him, though, because I don't want to break the guy. Um, but from NECA, yeah, he's pretty fantastic. It's selling for 60 bucks, and that's really all I got. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this thing, and I will be back. So thanks for uh, subscribing and watch for more videos. Bye. Hey, everybody. Um, just doing a quick update. I got a hold of the guys at NECA. Uh, the eBay store, and um, they sent me a brand new head to put on my spider gremlin. So they said I should be able to use the same method as getting the legs on. So I got a bowl of hot water, and I'm just gonna soak the head in that for now and see if I can get this one off. So he's not the easiest thing to grip. Let's take him off his stand for a second. And let's just gently pull. Uh, there it goes. So that is my head with the defect. Where he was missing the spikes on his head. And my jaw was a little off-centered or warped anyway so all in all it is a much better head than this guy so let's see without his head you see he's just got a ball joint there hopefully it won't be too hard to get this guy on
hold and pry. I don't know if I can do this on camera or not. Oh, it's hard to grab. You get the stabbed by all the spikes and everything. Oh, there it goes. I felt it pop on. No, you can see. Maybe you can see. He no longer has that gap. His jaw's much better. Now the only thing I need to do is get him back in frame and if I can loosen that torso joint because it looks like he should be able to rise up a lot farther than he does. I just don't want to snap him. Well, that'll be something for me to do on my own time. But that's a awesome thing that NECA did. They sent me an extra head for this guy. So if you end up getting one of these and you end up with a uh, any defects or head missing the piece, just let them know. And if they have any extras, they'll send one in. All right, that's my update. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video and if you're interested in seeing any more you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel there will be a button down below where you can do that as well and again thank you.